well today we're looking at something a little bit special certainly for me it's one of my uh, holy grails of Mego play sets this isn't the original one this is a reissue that was done by Diamond Select Toys but even that's getting hard to find so this is the fabled Star Trek USS Enterprise action play set and it's the bridge of the Enterprise absolutely massive huge box uh, this wasn't really, I don't remember this being available when I was a kid. I, I won't say it wasn't available in the UK, because we had the transporter separately from Palatoy, uh, and in this the transporter was built into the bridge. Um, so I'm not sure whether it was readily available. Certainly I'd never seen it until sort of the early 80s you started seeing adverts and things in magazines, and you'd be going, what's this? Um, and certainly this artwork on the top appeared in a magazine and I always wondered what what is this from it is quite bizarre when you look at it not quite right and then the Klingons got like a, a lightsaber before they were lightsabers got a glowy sword look at McCoy he's not well is he uh, so you can see this is the diamond select one in all other respects other than I think the color of the plastic used for the console and chairs this is meant to be a, a reproduction exact reproduction of the original the original now command certainly in the uk hundreds of pounds i know you can still pick it up fairly reasonably in america where they were obviously mass produced so this was a place that they produced in i think 1974 and it comes with various parts of the bridge and it's a vinyl play set the other side's the same yeah the other side's the same. now this has never been opened it just turned up today so Cut the salad tape, but I've not opened it yet. So, dun, dun, dun. There you go. Oh, look. so, oh, it's so exciting. So, this is the bridge, and it looks like a vinyl material. So, okay, that's just cardboard filler. And there's that can come out. So, just some cardboard packing pieces. Um, this is the transporter control. Oh, that is smooth. Uh, we'll see how that works. Um, I'm presuming there's loads of stickers you've got to put on this as well. And I'm not going to keep it mint in box. I'm going to put all the stickers on. So let's let's just move the. It's so big. I'm going to have to put this somewhere. And then we can have a look at this case. So USS Enterprise. A nice picture of the Enterprise on the back. No pictures on the front. So, like I say, you've got the, uh, the transport controls. And a little handle for carrying it. That must be the transport making the noise. So, there's a door here. I'm presuming that's to the back of the transporter. A little like purse clasp. Oh, yeah, that comes off. Yeah, that's the back of the transporter. Yeah, there's no stickers on it yet. We'll see how that works. And then this opens out. Ooh. It's so big, it doesn't actually fit on my bench properly. So let's have a look. So we've got the transporter. And what happens is some stickers go on it and then you put uh, one of the figures in, which we will do. You spin it. Depending on what button you press is whether you get the front or the back. So it's quite clever. They use the same thing in a TARDIS. Um, not sure what this is. Does that come out? Okay, that's... Oh, I bet that's meant to fold in there, isn't it? Is it? I wonder if we get any instructions. Ooh, that's heavy weight. So I think this was blue. I want to see blue in the original. Um, is that the view screen? Yeah, it's got um, it's got interference on it. There's an unsuppressed motor. Um, okay, let me get these bits out and we'll have a look at them. Okay, so we get two bags, one with presumably the instructions, stickers, and the view screen panels, and one with the uh, plastic. So let's open this. Okay, so you get. Cardboard panels. I wonder if the originals had that 
badge on the back, so anyone's got one, let me know. There's a really badly drawn space battle with... I don't know what ship that is. Don't know what it's meant to be. Interesting. Then we get a planet with fetus trees. That's disturbing, isn't it? Um, we get the badly drawn boy, Mr. Spock. Is that meant to be McCoy? <laughs> we get some big glowy hands like in Who Mourns for Adonis. I don't know what ship that is. Uh, did these people ever see the uh, program? Probably not. Dome City. That's more Space 1999, that, right? Uh, what's this? Don't know. Some sort of spacey scene. So we get instruction sheet. And again, I can't, I don't know whether this is the same as the original version. Possibly. The instructions on how to put all the stickers on. Put stuff together. Ah, that's new stuff, in it? That's the new Gorn. Help me. Um, so I'll have to put all that together. I'll have a look in a minute. And then maybe this is the sticker sheet. Ooh, they're psychedelic, aren't they? So, more fun putting them on. And then, okay, so you get part of a console, presumably the stools, I think the stools just clip together. Yep, how is Amiga going to sit on that? That'd be interesting. Uh, captain's chair, it's quite a nice representation of, I wonder if it's got stickers for that. Um, something. And that's the, presumably the navigation console. Oh, that might be to go on there. So, and then, like I say, in the background, you've got printed control panels. It's very psychedelic, isn't it? Oh, what's that? I wonder if that's a circuit for anything. Can that work? Push to read switch, very 60s. And then inside here, more control. So I think that's engineering. You've got the bridge. And then you've got the transporter. So let's uh, get all the stickers on, put it together. And I've got all my figures to use. So that'll be good. Scotty can go in his engineering. Uh, I've actually got Diamond Select Kirk there. It's the only one I've got, I think. Some of the others, most of the others are original. Um, right, let's get together and we'll uh, see what happens. Okay, so I've stuck all the stickers on, made it up and pop some figures in there, and it's looking pretty cool. Uh, it's not very show accurate, as you can see, but this must have been so much fun as a kid. So you got Scotty, the engines can I take it, Captain. It's an uncanny impression. So he's got his little engineering section with the world's dodgiest circuit board. And he's got some buttons and things. And you got Kirk in his command chair. With his little controls. He's meant to be at the front here, but obviously you wouldn't be able to see anything else. You've got the navigation console with lots and lots of controls on it. Um, Uhura, keep your legs together, dear, on her stool. Uh, Spock at the back, looking uh, shocked for some reason. And then you've got McCoy near the transporter. So this just looks amazing. I'm so glad I've got this. I never thought I'd have this one. Um, so should we see what the transporter does? So the idea is, let's use Scotty because he hasn't got any phaser or anything. Holding in. Oh yes, he is. That's original as well. It's original Scotty. It's not the greatest likeness, is it? But not bad. So the original idea, or the idea is that Scotty goes in the transporter and then we can make him beam away. Let me pop him in. Okay, so you see Scott is in the transporter and then you use the dials on the top and you spin it and I think red makes him disappear and green makes him appear. So let's have a look. Let's spin it a bit faster. So red. Oh no, red is back. Green has disappeared. 
beaming back. There he is. So it's quite a clever little thing. You can see why they used to break though. That is quite a clunk. Um, but you've also, on the back, uh, let's go round. So when he's beamed down, you can open the door and he can come out onto the alien planet. Hello, Scotty. Um, so clever, really simple, but clever. Let's uh, beam him back. There he is. So, yeah, this is chock full of play value for kids. I'm so glad I've got one. You can change the view screen. That just hooks on two little hooks. So again, simple ideas, but that's what, what made the best toys. Uh, and then this all folds up so you could carry your crew about, you know, have them bite the cling on. Spark, there's a cling on on the bridge. Let us fight. So yeah, all the fun you can have. Um, shame they never did a uh, check off of a Sulu for the navigation navigator's position. Um, you can get them. So if I think I think Camigo are going to be bringing some out this year. I think there's a check off coming up, but uh, Diamond Select did do a check off on that. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I've got it. Um, let me know if you had it, especially if you're in the UK and did you have one as a kid? Um, the camera really doesn't like folks on these colours. Not enjoying it. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, but uh, please also like and subscribe if you want to see more Migo style videos. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.